Hey everyone, and welcome back to a wintry ocean. We've got a half decent forecast, so let's get out there and find some fish. Here we go. First blue cod of the day, I think. I don't think it's going to be a legal one. Oh, well, maybe. Ah, he's just under. Under by a little. There you go. Nice little cod. Go bigger, bud. Today's mission was to find some nice fish over a local reef that I really like fishing. I had some special crayfish burley in the water, hoping to bring in something a bit different. Oh bugger. Really? The second fish of the day is the most common fish I run into, the humble kahawai. He was sent on his way before I managed to foul hook something a bit different. Yeah. What are you? Our secret burley was working good, and soon I'd hooked up to something really strange. Oh my god, it's one of them. That is a, my PB, bro. I thought it was a kawai. Mate, that's a f***ing pig. Mate, it acted like a kawai. That's got to be like four kilo. Easy. F***ing hell. Easily the biggest one of those I've ever seen. He's giving me a good scrap. Let's be careful with him. Look at the size of him. He did nothing at all on the way up for the size of the fish. He's got I've got him in the tail as well, so he's not going anywhere, even if the front one pulls out. Look at the size of him. I've never seen one that big. Wow! <laughs> Whoo -hoo. Oh, yeah, and the slimy. I completely forget about that. I like a blue nose, eh? We'll get it out of his tail. Oh, he's going to be a slimy bastard, isn't he? Now that that's done, we will take the gloves off because this is going to get fing slimy. <laughs> Okay everyone, well, we've caught something unexpected again, a massive blue wire how. They're a winter fish, you commonly see them in deeper water in the winter. Jesus, it fought like a absolute demon at the boat after I thought he was a kawai. Hopefully they're not sharp. God. Get this hand in the gill so you can see what I got him on. <laughs> Fing hell man, look how slimy he is. I'm gonna try not drip too much slime all over me, but that is a really good one as well. Like they don't get that big, I mean probably up to sort of five, six kilo, but this one's probably a comfortable four kilo-ish. See there. Easy crab, pink, fish bites, did the damage just on a tiny little hook, tiny little slither, that's all you need. And a Black Magic KLT 3 barrow hook. Tied that one up last night because I had a plan to come out and uh, do a bit of fishing on this patch of reef. Pump a lot of burley onto it as we've struggled the last couple of days. But uh, yeah, let's get a couple picks and we'll get those baits back down and see what else we can find. After wiping as much slime as I possibly could off the fish, I popped him on the ice before trying to get the slime off my net. But it didn't go that well. There were plenty more bites going through the rod, and it looks like I'm hooked up again. Just... Ah, he's got one on the bottom, he's just... 
not quite. Oh, and he's just coughed up that. So I think I'll put that down for a bait, thanks. Maybe next year. Possible. With a species not quite to my liking, I decided to up the anchor and move out a bit further to a different spot. And as soon as the line went down, I was immediately hooked up. And this time, species number 5 was a nice little tarakihi that was soon let go. The wind was slowly building, but I didn't let that stop me from hooking into another nice fish, and this time, I was expecting something better. Nice snapper. Species number 6 came and went very quickly. It just so turned out number seven wasn't far away either. Oh, Gurney. Gurney just off the edge of the reef. Like that, nice. Right, we're on. Maybe another one, could be a school. Just a quick move. Bit of crayfish burly. <laughs> That'll do the trick, and yep, another gurney. We're not gonna muck around. Hey, lovely. Yeah, he wasn't coming off, but you like to be careful doing it. Oh, that's lovely. Haven't seen one like this for two months. Two more beautiful fish hit the ice. and my rod was back down onto the bottom, hoping to find fish number eight. Oh shit. Well that was unexpected. Is it a good snapper? I wonder. It feels that way. Maybe another wire how? I don't know. Oh, look at the head shakes. A lot of head shaking. Ah, oh, we've got a trev. You're going in too. Max bag. I will take you all day. A great little spot I've parked on. With species number eight ticked off firmly, the wind was starting to blow a little bit much for my liking. However, there'd be a couple more surprises for this spot. Oh, here they come. Thank you. Thankfully, this wasn't the spiny dogfish I was expecting, but it was just a nice easy carpet shark. Oh, thank you. A pretty easy to get off, as this one was only holding onto the bait. I added another nice panty snapper to the bag, before making the call to head back closer to shore as the wind was picking up pretty significantly. After a wait of about an hour, some fish finally turned up into the trail. It's red. Oops, she's gone again. Red. With a second lovely gurnard to add to the bin, it was looking like a pretty good stop on the way home. But somehow the next fish would top them all. Big, oh, real big red. Full of burly. Yes!
Fucking pig. Absolute pig, that one. We're getting towards the end of our day now, and it's been this shitty sloppy weather all day. So, yeah, we've jumped into 20 meters, 25 meters that is, and I was expecting maybe a couple girded, probably gonna get overrun with spinies, but the opposite has happened. Look how thick it is through the middle. It's uh, probably another one up towards 1.3 kilo. That's a 50. It's about as big as they get, these gurnard. And I am stoked when I get them this big. You get so much meat off one this size. Hell yeah. All that effort over the last two days, plus today, three days, over 15 hours of work. I'd say it's almost worth it for just this one alone, eh? All right, we're in the home stretch now. That is a competition winner. If I get this anywhere else in the country, I would clean everyone up. Look at the blood in them. Heaps of blood in this size. Gonna run out of room at the back anyway. He's in there. Going really good if it's another gurney. That's a trip. Do I need you? I don't think I need you. So I will throw you back. If I can get the hook out. Nice little trip. Excellent. Always get good fishing when it's shitty conditions like this. Crayfish. <laughs> With another beast to end off the day, that wind was just a bit much for us to stay out any longer. We got this fish quickly onto the ice. Along with a lovely second one. <sighs> Pulled in my burly pot and the rest of the gear and put the gloves on to begin the trek home. Let's go. Winter. There's even a little terrakee hiding in under here. That I better get out, put him up the front there. But mate, that is crazy, crazy good. So, let's go through a few of these fish and have a look at something a bit different. Let's do this blue worry how first. Now my guess is three and a half to four kilo. Good one. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, it's just under four kilo. 3.82. Here he is there. By far the biggest one I've ever seen. And oh he's got a mantis shrimp in him. Look at that. I'll have to show you that. Yeah, he's one, just on 1.2. Yep. Sweet. It's a beast. 
massive, massive gurner that one. Well, we'll just pick up a couple fish while we have a bit of light. Nice trevally. Middle of winter and still getting these. Snapper. Cool. And I will just do a quick hold up. Massive wire how so you can have a good look at him. Slime coming off him. They're quite the slimy fish, so I'll do him last so I don't get it all over the other fish. I just wanted to show you this cool thing that I found inside this gurnard. So these gurnard managed to chase down and eat mantis shrimp. They're one of the quickest striking animals on the planet and gurnard will just snack them up, no worries. You don't see them too often in the old gurnard, but here you are, mantis shrimp inside this big one. Right, let's get going. I've got to get going before it gets really dark. We got to filleting all the fish and ended up with some lovely big blue wire how fillets along with all the gurnard and the rest of the fish I caught. Thank you so much for watching this midwinter adventure and I'll see you all next time.